Every year, Samsung's new foldables include a fresh one UI build based on the latest Android version. These are small updates aimed mostly at tablets and foldable devices with fewer new features and enhancements for traditional smartphones. It does not take long for the firm to make it available on other qualifying models. It completes the rollout after a few weeks. With One UI 6.1 now available for practically every qualifying Galaxy phone and tablet, all eyes will soon turn to One UI 6.1.1, which will be released in July for the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6. However, as with previous mid-year One UI updates, version 6.1.1 will primarily target Samsung's flagship phones, foldables, and tablets. One UI 7.0 is the next One UI update that Samsung will make available to the public. Android 15 will include One UI 7.0, which will be available on the majority of Galaxy phones and tablets released in the past two years. But when can we anticipate One UI 7.0 to arrive? Based on the release of One UI 6.0 and One UI 5.0, we believe that One UI 7.0 will be available for Galaxy devices in the second part of October. We normally expect Samsung to release big new One UI updates sooner each year. However, the corporation may be unable to do so this year. That's because One UI 6.1 took longer to release for eligible devices than One UI 5.1 in previous releases. Galaxy AI is likely to blame for the lengthy development of One UI 6.1. And if Samsung intends to include new AI capabilities with Android 15 and One UI 7.0, the company may delay its formal release until November or later. As always, Samsung is anticipated to provide users the opportunity to test the most recent major One UI and Android upgrade via beta program. The Galaxy S23 One UI 6.0 beta program went online in August of last year, but like the official version, One UI 7.0's beta version could be delayed as well. Based on how Samsung manages to bring the One UI 6.1 One upgrade to existing devices, we may be able to get a clearer idea of the possible release timetable for One UI 7.0, both beta and final versions. However, until Samsung makes an official announcement, everything is speculation that may or may not be accurate. Even if Samsung launches the One UI 7.0 public beta a few weeks late, it could catch up later. The corporation could accelerate the development of the next One UI version to ensure that the stable upgrade is released on time. Last year, it spent nearly three months testing One UI 6.0 before releasing it stable in late October after nine beta builds. Samsung might do the same task in less time this year to compensate for the delayed beta launch. As before, the S24 series should be the first to receive One UI 7.0, both beta and stable builds. We'll keep a watch on Samsung's community forums for new clues and release dates. The company has traditionally limited its One UI beta programs to seven countries, China, Germany, India, Poland, South Korea, the United Kingdom, and the United States. It remains to be seen whether more markets will be added to the One UI 7.0 beta this year. Android users have been eagerly awaiting satellite connectivity for iPhones ever since Apple introduced it. Finally, it will be released as part of Android 15. APIs can be used by apps to determine whether a device is connected to a satellite. Android 15 has satellite connectivity for SMS and RCS apps that send and receive messages. This indicates that satellite connectivity will be used for more than just emergencies. When you share or record the screen in Android 14 or earlier versions, it will capture everything on the screen. Android 15 improves on this by allowing you to share or record a single app instead of the entire screen. Too many consecutive alerts from a single app can be unpleasant, which Google attempted to address with the notification cooldown function. This function reduces the volume of successive notifications from the same app. Android 15 provides a high layer of safety for your OTP. The new sensitive notification feature prevents fraudulent Android apps from accessing your OTPs. IPA fraud has increased in recent years. Thus, if done appropriately, this function has the potential to save individuals money. Android 14 QPR1 for Google Pixel phones offered the ability to utilize your Android phone as a webcam for a PC but the output quality was limited. Android 15 addresses this issue by introducing a high-quality webcam mode that turns off power optimizations. This feature was discovered in Android 15 Developer Preview 2, where a new HQ icon shows in the camera view. It disables power optimizations, so expect some battery drain. Android 15 will allow you to completely stop keyboard vibration. When turned off, 
the new keyboard vibration toggle overrides the settings for individual keyboard apps. Disabling each keyboard app will allow you to modify its haptics. These are some of the most important Android 15 additions discovered thus far. What are your expectations for Android 15? And what Galaxy device do you have? Please share your ideas in the comments section. Then I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.